You're listening to the Skeptics Guide 5x5. Five, five. five minutes with five skeptics. With Steve, Jay, Rebecca, Bob, and Evan. This is the SGU 5x5. Five five. The topic for tonight is Man Claims He Was Molested by Bigfoot. 57 year old Gene Morrill, uh, who has been convicted of soliciting minors for, uh, for sex over the internet, has claimed that he himself was molested when he was younger by none other than Bigfoot. And by minors, you mean 13-year-old boy. That's, that's correct. And by Bigfoot, you mean a large, hairy mammal that doesn't exist. <laughs> I mean Sasquatch. Right. <laughs> that's, that's right. And by molest, you mean, well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the story is, is just completely nuts. Um, I mean, well, obviously the guy uh, has serious issues here, um, but... What really makes this an outstanding case is the job that the local news stations have done to it. Um, For instance, the one that's been spread around the most is by a journalist, Jessica Weinstein, from the local ABC affiliate. And her uh, method of investigating this was to first interview folks at the gas station and then to contact the Bigfoot Field Research Organization. Um, and and that's where she got all of her information on this breaking news case. Right, because as soon as anything like Bigfoot or ghosts or UFOs or anything paranormal or unusual enters the story, it becomes instantly a fluff piece. And then all journalistic uh, criteria and quality control goes out the window. And you could just talk to some, you know, a random, you know, Bigfoot true believer as an expert and you don't have to actually ask any interesting questions like, is this guy, you know, really as crazy as he seems? Uh, perhaps his belief that he was molested by Bigfoot stems from legitimate abuse that he had when he was a child. I mean, this, you know, this spawns a lot of questions that suddenly don't get asked by the journalists involved because Bigfoot takes over the story. Reporters are going out to the residents of the town to talk to them about this. And when you're taking it in the context of here's this very, very serious issue with this person, and they're putting it in the context this person was molested or claimed to be molested by Bigfoot, and people are saying things like, are you serious? And I just don't believe it. And I think it's interesting in that you put it against that kind of context, and I think it's affecting people's thoughts about Bigfoot in general. I kind of, I kind of see it that they are less likely to perpetuate the myth because it is such a serious incident that people uh, all of a sudden are becoming very skeptical about Bigfoot overall in any context. Plus, you know, like Rebecca, you covered this in your blog. You know, maybe he was, you know, molested by a monster in the woods, uh, but he's just maybe he does have psychological problems where he does see it in his memory as it being Bigfoot, I guess. Yeah, my my take on this was that actually he was he doesn't really believe that he was molested and, and he brought and he mentioned that solely to potentially, you know, get a lesser lesser a lighter sentence because uh, he's mentally impaired. Uh, to, to such a degree. That, that, that's, that's my take on it, at least. Well, and Bob, you may be right. This may be the Bigfoot gambit. He may be throwing out Bigfoot as a, uh, an attempt to either they'll buy it and, he, the, and out of sympathy at least go easy on him. I don't think there's any possibility of him being found innocent. He was found competent to stand trial, so this wouldn't get him to... to be found not guilty by reason of insanity, but it may have he may have been going for leniency. And uh, if they don't bo- if they don't buy the whole I was molested by Bigfoot thing, the alternative is he is mentally ill, which is just another reason for leniency. So, you know, it could be easily perceived as a as a win win. And he's also facing charges elsewhere in uh, in the state. So, I mean, that could have an effect on his future charges as well. One thing that struck me kind of funny was the mugshot being passed around to this guy. For some reason, when I look at that mugshot, it, it seems like they actually took the picture when he was being boinked by Bigfoot. <laughs> the expression on his face. I don't know. That's how it struck me. I don't know how it struck you guys. He has what we call the stunned ox expression on his face. Should we stop there? That'll do. SGU 5x5 is a companion podcast to The Skeptic's Guide to the Universe, a weekly science podcast brought to you by the New England Skeptical Society in association with Skeptic.org. 
For more information on this and other episodes, visit our website at www.theskepticsguide.org.